Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, we are going to set up Dreamcast. Okay, so we are going to turn the volume down, so we won't get in, so we won't get copyright. All right, and now we have to have a keyboard plug in. Okay, and we are going to set up the Dreamcast. Okay, so first. Straight from the box, the image is from Virtual Virtual Man, uh, four hundred gig gigabyte, uh, called the Play Box. Okay, so we gonna press B get out here, and we are going to demonstrate Nintendo, I mean Dreamcast, to show you that if you don't configure this, it's not gonna work. So let's go to Dreamcast and let's go ahead and start the game, see what happened. Alright. Here they have uh, something that you supposed to configure. So Let's go to Marvel vs. Capcom first, see what happens. So let's see if it's straight from the box, will it work or will it, will it not work? I don't think it will work. Then ask me for the day and time. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and press Okay, so I forgot. Dreamcast doesn't have a select button. Select button is to get out. <laughs> so let's see what happened. Straight from the box, will virtual virtu virtual man four hundred gigabyte uh, as a long <laughs> play box? Will it work? straight from the box. So far the time and date, those things seem to work. Okay, press start button. Press start button again. Press A. Press A, start button, start button. All right, it seems like we don't have any issue with straight from the box. I don't know why the color is green. See my button, my joystick is not in the right direction. So when I push forward, it's going backward. When I push backward, it's going forward. So I will probably have to open this up and physically swap it around. Or I have to reconfigure the, the joystick for the Dreamcast. 
So all the button it seem to be working. And the select button is <laughs> I press the one button again, select to get up on the this side. Okay, so my joy my joystick for sure is is messed up. So let me see if this side is messed up too. If it's messed up, I'm gonna have to open this up, turn this around, and screw it back in. Because apparently the joystick, the left and right, is not going the right direction. So I'm going to try to play two players, see if both joysticks work or not. I'll go ahead and put the description of the instruction how to set up the Dreamcast. I already typed it out already. So I'll put that in there. And so you guys could, uh, if you do have problem with the joystick, you could uh, configure it. But I'm going to physically open this up and change the direction of the joystick and reconfigure my... Because right now I'm finding out that my physical joystick need to be swapped this way. You see it's the same problem with the two player on this side. So we got two player. Okay, see mine is opposite too. The white, the white is, let me see. No. Up is, is, is going down. And down is up. Yeah, so I need to take both joysticks and flip it. And that will fix my problem. Because my joystick is put in incorrectly. Okay. I, I find, I think, you know, my, my physical, when I, because, the joystick doesn't tell you which one is up, which one is down. So I tried to get the cable not be on the joystick way, so I flip it the other way. Same with this one. So now I need to flip it the other way, so then my button will be working. All right. But if you wanted to fix the joystick, it's, it's not hard. You just go to uh, Raspberry Pi option. But I want to fix it on everything. I don't just want to fix it on because seem like Nintendo DS had the same issue as a Dreamcast so I need to turn them around and then uh, because otherwise I will be going and reconfigure all my joystick but to first you have to go to uh, Raspberry Pi and when you go into a Raspberry Pi when you enter you want to go to uh, retro setup uh, if I could find it. There you go, option. Okay. Then he group everything, so it's kind of hard to figure out. Okay, this is. I think this is the one you need to put. I'll put this on the description. Yeah, you want to use uh, retro pi setup. Press A. Then you're gonna go to configuration tool. Then you're gonna select the Dreamcast emulator. Alright. Then here it's going to it's, after this is loaded, it's gonna go up to the top. It's gonna list all the joystick you plug in. And then you have to pick the one that you have.
okay now I say configure the input device okay now you need to configure it all right so this is very self let me turn the volume down this one is pretty self-explaining uh, let's go ahead and do it anyway let's do one so you at least you know and then once I change it physically then I, I'll go back and redo this but right now it's detecting that I have a my my tech USB joystick okay number four and number five are US joystick okay so this is my number one so my number one joystick would be number four so you got zero one two it, those are keyboard and four is my USB joystick which is this and then five is my USB joystick as well okay so you have to put you are typing the number you have to have a keyboard plug in to do this okay so let me uh, zoom in again So as you, what I was saying is, I hope you could see now, is that it's telling you what what is plugged in into the system. So you go to retro uh, Raspberry setup. Yeah, no wet uh, retro Pi setup. You go to option and go to retro Pi setup. Then you run the first one uh, on the config config slash tool. You pick the first one, which is retro disk one for the Dreamcast, and you you start it, and then you say you want to configure this. So I have a four and a five. So I'm gonna use four for first one. So I take the keyboard and don't use this the keypad. Use the number on top. So you so you press number four, press enter. It's gonna say, do you want to map to access out the emulator? Okay, do you want to map the button to access the emulator? You say yes, why? Enter. Press any, press that button to access out. So to access out the emulator, you're gonna select the button right here, select button and the joystick. Okay, on the fighting stick, I have a select button. Press the select button. Do you want to map the A button? You say yes. Then you press the A button of your your joystick. So do you want to map the B button? You say yes. Enter with your keyboard. Okay. Then you press the joystick B button. Do you want to configure C? I'm gonna say no. You don't have a C button. Do you have a D button? No. You have an X button? Yes. You have an X button, which is on the Joystick, you're gonna press the X button. Do you have a Y button? Yes. You're gonna collect your Y button on your joystick, fighting stick. Okay. Do you have a Z button? You're gonna press your keyboard. No. And for no, press Enter. Do you want to map the Start button? You're gonna say yes. Enter. Then you're gonna press your Start button on your joystick. Now it's gonna ask you, do you want to map the D-pad? One. D-pad is the joystick over here. So let me zoom back out so you can see everything. So we're going to go down the screen. And now we, they are asking, do you want to configure the D-pad? So do you want to say yes, only for D-pad 1. You don't have D-pad 2 or 3, just 1. So you say Y for yes. Okay, now I say, please press the left button. So my left, this choice is upside down, so I'm gonna have to do this again. So left would be left. Now I say the, the D-pad for up, you're gonna press up, okay. Then you have an extra junk stuff, use the backspace on the keyboard, backspace to delete that junk character. Do you wanna map another D-pad too? You say no. Because you only have one joystick, you don't have two. The trigger button, yes, you want trigger button. Yes, and you're gonna, my trigger button would be, let me see, 
my L, L1, L2 trigger button will be over here. So my trigger button left will be my red button on the first red at the bottom. And then do you want the right? Yes, I want a trigger button for the right. So I'm gonna press the yellow button on my bottom of my joystick, the fighting stick. Do you want map analog stick? We don't have any analog stick. We're gonna say no. And that's it. You're done. So you're gonna cancel out here. Now if you want if you want to configure a second joystick, you have, you have to continue, say okay. And you, the first one I pick four, this one I'm gonna pick five. But I'm not gonna configure this because I'm gonna physically turn it around. But I'm gonna go ahead and demo the game just to show you that after I did after I changed this. That's all you have to do for your uh, for your joystick. So you press B to get out, and you go back to your Dreamcast. And I I think now my uh, now my direction button should be correct now. My left and left down down should be correct now. And that's it, that pretty much wrap up all the things you need to do when you first get your image. Uh, the first video we did was to set up the controller, the, the, the Wi-Fi, and update the kernel, which is the, and then uh, fix the splash screen. And then, you know, all right, let's go ahead and uh, start. I think I did something wrong with my joystick. I think I need to reboot it. Okay, but anyway, that's how you do the 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 joystick. Hopefully that helped. And so that's end of the arcade mod update. I'll be working on something else on a different project, but I will complete my image setup. So this one, this image right now, I'm gonna move it back to the the bar top that I just built. So this 400 is gonna go over there. This one, I'm gonna probably use a hard drive, a uh, terabyte, to boot up to a hard drive instead of a USB. So that way I could put more gaming on this machine. All right, thank you for watching. Talk to you later, bye-bye.